I'll let you go and like, I don't have to do this, right? And so on, so voila. So just for right now, well, what would the test be on, right? Well, I gave you the true notes, right? Well, yeah. any question off the true notes is fair game. What else? Well, that one looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'll let you guys work in any class, and then I'll look around and so on. And then I, I got another one that's on just good old-fashioned, uh, what we call sample proportions, okay? Or population proportions, P, okay? Remember we had X bar? Now we're going to do a little P, population hmm. proportion. And a proportion is everything, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, what is it? It is like um, like a fraction part yeah. of something. Fraction or it's a ratio of two things by division. Absolutely. So uh, the biggest thing is oh, time to talk and bore you to tears. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm in my college thing here. We denote this by making a confidence interval, just like we did last time, right? The CIs. They're not that tough, right? Just plug and chug. The CIs. Now we're going to be for a sample proportion. Well, why do we use it? Why do we care? Well, it's statistics class, right? But, you know, mm -hmm. uh, so here, you know, you, you got to learn it. But the biggest thing is, is always those election polls. Now, excluding the politics and everything else, we want to talk about. We want to talk about why a certain uh, candidate will be chosen based upon a percentage of voters. Why they favor them, why they don't favor them, and something. Or a percentage, let's say, of a certain genotype uh, that uh, it's ex exists in a percentage of organisms. Uh, when you guys, who's going into biology? Doctor. Ah, ah. You learn about this word, you should look it up as well. Operon. Oh, like opera, ah, opera, and operon, okay? And operon is this uh, selective amount of genes that are associated with something that can either be latent or manifested to create a certain phenotype. Uh, sorry, I used to teach biology. But the biggest thing is, is it can be there uh, to exist and then turned on by a certain type of gen genetic progenitor, but I'll give off of that. So the reason why is usually election polls, uh, organisms, there's multiple other reasons, but I just use the ones that are in my book. Now I have the notes right here, okay, so you can take a picture, so you can just let's see each deal. So we want to estimate. Remember, the population's huge. We can't take off the, all the possible voters in the United States, right? We can't even do all the voters in Brevard County. So what do we do? We take a handful, we take a sample from that population. Population is an impossible so parameter because it changes all the time, as well as it's too big. It's too big, it's growing, so we can never get it. So what we do is just take a sample. No different than what Sam did. He took a random sample of 100 of those uh, uh, parts or whatever it was, right? So we're doing the same thing here, but this is called a population proportion. Sometimes it's called a sample population proportion. You'll notice it noted at the uh, 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 symbols um, for this would be either P or P accent. We call it P hat. So if I say P hat, it's the same thing if I just write P. Okay? So what do we do here? Well, the first thing is uh, X of I is all those observations. Either it has it or it doesn't. Okay? And how do we determine P hat? Real simple, guys. It's the sample that we take, whatever it is, the total number of samples, whatever it is, 500, 300, 200, whatever, over what we consider to be important. For example, it could be like that G, that progenitor G, or that uh, uh, operon. So uh, out of a sample of 500 organisms, 250 exhibit that specific trait or operon. So 250 over 500, right? Mm -hmm. Ratio, just like, or fraction, like Mr. Rappers said. Pretty straightforward, okay? So that's what we're doing right here, okay? And what else do we do? Well, we can consider, or const not consider, but construct a confidence interval, right? And this is really 100%, but I get lazy, so I'm making a decimal, one minus alpha. And it's the same thing that we've been using, same thing, except all we're going to do is instead of using X bar, we're going to use P, right? Mm -hmm. And this is going to exist right here in this type of range, uh, range, or I like to call it domain, and so on. So if you really consider this, right, remember we had X plus or minus, right? So we can go X minus Z, right? Alpha over 2 times this, and then X, this is plus, excuse me, uh, plus Z times sigma over, I should have square root of that, right? Right? It's really similar to this one. And what we're really doing here, guys, is the standard of error. It's a point estimate that can vary from that specific mean. You know, let's say there's a score of, 90, uh, of 85, and let's say just for fun, uh, Mrs. River as well as Sophia gets something that is the margin of error that's even farther above the mean because they did so well on the test. Or if, let's say Sam didn't do so well, he's on the other side of the normal distribution. 
Here's the one that's the lower bound, like uh, Mr. Tribble said, and then the upper bound, okay? Same thing. Now remember, P is a ratio, right? So remember P and Q, or one minus P and all that jazz that yep. we did at binomial? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. So if I had, for example, P was, let's say, 60%, what would Q be, for example? 40. Rocket science, mm -hmm. right? So what I like to do is you can substitute and make this a Q. And in some of the texts in the literature, they use Q right there instead of that one minus P. Okay? But I want to show where it comes from. All right? And that's really all the thing that we're talking about. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is the standard of error. Boom, boom. You know, I know where it is, and how am I going to fluctuate? You did real well on the test. Congratulations. So she would be over on that side and so on. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Yes, sir? Wait, so P hat is the ratio of people that you're looking for that meet the requirements to the entire people? To the sample, to the overall sample that I take out. Yes, yeah, so you take 100 people and 50 have it, it's 0.5. Rocket science. Okay. You got it. Yeah. And here they're going to talk about either SE or ME. And SE and ME are called both the same thing. It depends what they sometimes say. Sometimes they call it SME. <laughs> Don't ask me. Uh, I wasn't there when I was writing t statistics textbooks yet. Standard error or margin of error for the estimate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the point estimate because they use a P. Okay? Not bad. This is no different than that X bar, right? Not bad. Or sometimes even U. All right? Not bad. Really tough stuff here, huh? Yeah, exactly. And I gave you a whole bunch of examples, and I even gave you notes, some extra notes like, oh, this is a good problem Irma's going to use or Sandy's going to use, right? So why don't we do the ones that are over here, okay? And if you have trouble seeing it or can't do it or whatever, I have it right here. You take a picture, okay? All right. So Sandy's interested in estimating a population proportion. Boom. They say population or a proportion. You don't use that X bar anymore. You Boom. You use this one. Will I give you the formulas on the board? Yes. I don't believe you have to memorize formulas. I, I think that's, uh, you know, I, I can do it, but, you know, you don't need to do it. Mm -hmm. It's irrelevant, okay? So, out of this whole conglomerate that Sammy's running, he's interested in finding out candidate X. Well, he's already in fear, you know, uh, uh, corrupting his own data because he's collecting it, right, or something, because it's about himself. Right? So, this one is candidate X, and Sammy. So, let's say he has somebody independent going out, and collecting the stuff from Bavar County because he's running for the clerk, which some guy got arrested or something, right? Uh, on the, happens all the time to these scumbag politicians. Sorry, <laughs> about these politicians, right? So uh, some clerk, have you read Florida today? No, no one does. But uh, some politician got busted. Money laundering, you know, contracts, you know. Uh, here's some, you know, kickbacks, whatever. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah, some, some clerk or something. I have to look it up. I don't Maybe he did a seven goes into 28, 13 times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, out of 200 that he collects from the district, or whatever it is, 50 say that they'll vote for this person. So, okay. He wants to find the 95% confidence interval for that certain candidate. Pretty easy so far? Let's rock. All right, so how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, I got to get a marker. It's right here. We'll do it in, you like purple, blue, green. Which one? Purple. Purple, of course, royal color, Roman. Okay, and yes as well. All right. So we use the formula here, right? This one here. And yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we can combine this and make this plus minus, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So let's get. What's p? What's p going to be? Or p hat? That's correct. X over n. Yep. And 50 over 200, which is what? One fourth. Zero 0.25. You got it. One fourth. Right. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Now what? Well, we have to do what? I moved the ninety percent confidence out there. Uh, so here we go. I like to use ninety-five percent is one point nine six. I know that there's a little uh, thing there, right? I think yeah. it's one point six four five. I'm yeah. still thinking about it. I talked to Mrs. K about it. She's like, "What do you want to do?" And I'm like, "I know what I want to do. Trust me." Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, second page of this thing, it has one nine six. Whole thing. One nine six. And if you use it, just use Cambridge, okay? If you get, I'm not going to mark off on that one because I got to teach Cambridge, right? So here we go. So here we go. We're going to go 0 0.25. My uh, the minus one here, right? Minus. What's the z score? You said 1.96. I've got another way. Times what? The square root of what? Remember, this is all underneath the radical, okay? Mm -hmm. What's p again? Uh, 0.25, right? And you can write one fourth. It's okay. Uh -huh. 0 0.25, 0 0.75, everybody okay with that one? Yeah, yeah. Over. Over the number of dudes, the total number of dudes, right? Total, dudes. total number of dudes, 200. And then you do what, comma, and then the same. And you go plus, and then, right? All right, and, and. 
Let's see if I, yeah, 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 looking good. All right, so all you gotta do now is plug and chug. Can someone tell me when you get a chance to lower bound? It's not that tough, huh? Hmm. Nah, that's cake. No, I'm really teaching college here, okay? <laughs> not Cambridge, sorry. Because you're gonna be like, oh, we got things. It's just a matter of cleaning up. For yeah, me. cleaning up the house, right? Yeah. I have my stepson with his child over, and that's all I do over there is now clean up my own. I'm swearing, okay? House. <laughs> you like that? This guy House. And my wonderful wife is allowing to happen. See? You like, see? I didn't say anything bad. Alright. Can anybody tell me the uh, last? Uh, you're almost there. That's fine. And you can show all the computations step by step if you want. Or just give it to me. Okay? Or give me the answer. Okay? Now, I know I give a lot of stuff out. I know it. I'm, I'm guilty of sin of that. But go. Yeah, let's go 0 0.19. Oh, oh this is not. 0.19? Oh. Yep. I'm going to have to change it up. Oh, it's sad. You know what? I have like four purple ones at home. Einstein's over here. 0 0.19? Oh, because it's plus or minus, right? Correct. Now, you can do plus or minus, and if you did the whole thing in there, right, you just go back to the window and change that to either whatever uh, operating you use first. So, 0 0.19, 2, 0 0.19, 3, 2. I just want you to calculate it, okay? Is it 0 0.3? 0 0.31? 0 0.31, yeah. Well, go 0 0.31. Is that what you, you got? 0.31. And change, right? Let's go because... 0.3100. Yeah, 31%, right? Now, I'm big on this. I am, Zach. I'm big. Go blue, right? What does those numbers mean? Let's hear it. It's the um, the proportion, the, the standard error, margin of error. That's from uh, it's not just the standard error, it's what? From the it's proportion. It's the standard of error, right? Yeah. So it's the... Oh, let them take it, let them take it. You got the baton, go. What's up? What's this mean? What's this 0.9, 1.31? Point point that is, it's 95% chance that the mean will fall between those two. Yes. Yeah. So number. if you're explaining it to Sam, who's uh, running, he's kind of the S, right? What does that mean? Uh, we did a sample, uh, president or candidate S, and that means you have a 19 to 31% chance of getting votes, right? And I would accept what you said as well. That's really bad. Yeah, it sucks, right? <laughs> no one's voting for Sam. Now, if I want to be a hater, right? What would his nemesis get? So instead of what would his what was his opponent? Excuse me. You know Sherlock has who? Moriarty. Very good. Yeah. Moriarty. Yeah. Seriously. seriously? Read, yeah. The book. read the book. I'll so buy them all. Okay. I have. Uh, uh, I won't get into my book club. You'd be like, God, did you read uh, all that? And I'd be so like, right behind you. Go. Yes, I do that. So if Sammy gets fifty votes. <laughs> so there's two what about candidate votes. X? Right. What would well, candidate X be? Yeah, what would candidate X get? Um, Think about it. One minus, one minus those guys, right? Well, or some, you some flip this to be 0. 0.75, right? Some of them will probably vote independent, though. No, we're not going to just, there's only two candidates, right? We're going to do what Napoleon did. So you can say yes or no. 0. 0.81. You mean just yes, right? Yes, exactly. That's what Napoleon did. Diplomacy. You don't have a choice. 0.69. No, that's right. Do you want me to be So 69, so 69 81, right? Yeah, so, he's got a way better So the other candidate has a better chance, okay? That, I just wanted to do that as an exercise. Okay, Unless he gets the electoral college. Yeah. Uh, let's not get into politics. <laughs> let's not talk about our failed... Uh, never mind. Yes, okay. <laughs> let's not talk about it. It's bad. It's no, something... Uh, you got to watch Adam Conover. What he, the, my favorite is when he does uh, voting. Adam destroys voting. Yeah. That is one of the best ones. I like that one. This woman has so pumped up, goes in there, she's ready to vote. And then after Adam, I don't care, just vote whoever you want. You got a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the really popular doesn't vote doesn't matter because the electoral college... I'm not trying to... Come. Corrupt you, but here we go. Starting to see what happened. All right, everybody okay with point nine, point three, one? Plug chuck, right? Yeah. So, guys, what was going to happen for the 99.5? The only thing that's going to change is the Z score, right? Yeah. So we're going to do the same thing, right? Then we're going to minus, and then just let's put the Z score in there. Isn't and the same thing, be lower? plus, well. Because lower bounds are going to be lower. Right, right lower bounds are going to be lower, and higher bounds are going to be higher, right? 
Yeah. So, but we don't have to calculate. I just want to know. You tell me about the Z score for 995. It's a larger range of percentage. Correct. Yes, and that would. I don't care about the answers. I want to know what the Z score is. Just tell me what 995. Five. Does it give us? Give it. 2.54. 2.576. They do 257, 2.576, 2.576, right? Yep. Because you're almost three standard deviations, so to speak, away or something to yeah, that effect. Ish. Uncertainty, yeah, yeah. All right. And and that's what's going to happen there. Then if to construct it, construct it, I have to go, you know, I have to give you like what? Well, I should give you well actually you can do it, right? You can do 68. Is it 68? Yeah, 68. 95, 95, 6, okay, 95, and then 99, right? And that should give you one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations, three, one Z, two Z, three Z, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you can able to do it. Sound okay? Yeah. Mr. Ellen. But why do you need to do the 68, 95, 99 before that? Because 68 is one standard deviation from the mean, mm -hmm. one standard of error from the mean. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's a good question. From Or from the point estimate, right? Because instead of here, guys, we're not really doing what? We're not doing x bar, we're doing p hat, right? And then this is going to be what? p hat minus z, p hat plus z. And then you can put the values on top and then the z scores on the bottom. Makes sense? Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes, Mr. Ellis. So we have 0.25 plus or minus 2.576 times the square root of 0.25 times 0.75 over 200. Perfect. In the radicam. Okay? Then you do the same thing for 85% or whatever, right? For p, for z, whatever it is. I probably am thinking that, I think, guys, it's on that sheet that I gave you. Oh, sheet, right? Let's see where it is. I was calculating pizza data, okay? I should make this. Well, I could corrupt the data by having Billy vote. You missed it. We voted for what the pizza was. What our favorite pizza what's, what's the favorite pizza? Yeah, well, you weren't here. <laughs> I'm on a field trip. What, what is it anyway? I can add one to My it. My favorite? Yes, your favorite pizza. She, she falls right into the scheme of it, okay? So if you took this one right here, Domino's. you're right. Yeah, Domino's. Okay, so that just everybody's popping Domino's. So I had Domino's pizza last night. So, with really nice. Nice. so guys, if you just open this up, okay, it says a whole bunch of information. It does P bar, P hat, P hat. Okay. The, remember, this is not a, this is a point estimate, right? Mm -hmm. It's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect because it's all random. You know, it's the confidence interval. Stats. Stats, <laughs> right? And you know, like Gallup polls and everything else. So if you go to the third page. I know it says chapter 19 and so on. Uh, if you look where it says confidence intervals for P, I will probably put them on the board. Then I got you, right? Well, it's on the board, right? But then you can haggle with me saying, well, I used in Cambridge, right? But this is what they use in college, okay? They use the 90, 95, 98, 99. And 68 was one point, what was it, 0.46, like Ryan said? So, yes. yeah. I'm not going to be that mean or whatever. But I want you to be really understanding and so on about it. Okay? Pretty straightforward stuff, right? Not bad? I won't lie to you. If you go determining the sample size, oh, that's the second page from the back. Second page from the back. Put a little star next to it. Hmm. So what are you doing, Murmur? Well, I'm actually trying to work. But you get the idea. So, well, did I give you a formula for N? Yeah. N is the number of sample size. So that means you'd have to know the following, right? I'd have to know the Z score. I have to square it, and then I have to multiply by whatever p hat is, or mm -hmm. the ratio, then, times 1 minus the ratio, or let's just go q, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Over, well, and the margin of error, right? And that's calculated, yeah. Now, that cleaned it all up, right? So that tells me, Sophie and company, uh, how many people are, are part of that sample size, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's just the formula rearranged to solve for a different variable? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. doing, absolutely. You're doing this guy right here. Right? Okay. So if you yeah, just yeah, yeah. plug everything in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a nightmare, you know, if you just, let's say you had this right here, right, the standard of error, and it equals whatever. To solve this is a pain in the neck, but I just gave it to you right there, right? ME, or standard of error, is right here. Okay. How much time we got? Me neither. Mr. So the standard of error is the square root of that stuff. The standard of error is denoted as, let me see, I'm make sure it right. Yes, it's this guy right here. It's the z all the way to here, okay? Z times that z square root. Z times the stuff. square root the, uh, the square root of the stuff. Yeah. Okay? And remember, sometimes they put q there, but I wanted to be consistent when I was teaching my statistics class at Selwyn in 2003. I used 1 minus p, because they're like, where'd the q come from? Mm -hmm. Okay? But you're smarter than the class of that in 2003. Go ahead. Which one? Uh, are we on the back? Sample size for P? 
Yeah, the sample size, it says N star. V star, right? Z, or Z star, yeah. Yeah. So. You'd have to, well, Z would be what based upon? That means it's changing, right? Oh, okay. Okay, that's all it meant. When they put an asterisk, it says that value will change accordingly based upon your confidence interval, right? Okay. That won't always be the same, right, Zach? Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's going to change no matter what you say. He's like, well, I wasn't thinking that anyway. All right. All right. Not bad? All right, pretty good. Now, uh, for the remainder of time, uh, I'm not going to do any more. You guys are. Yeah. And I will walk around and look like I'm semi-important. Uh, this one here, it says, uh, I believe it talks about the industrial designer or whatever it is. Oh, look at all those answers. Yeah. All right? This one? Yeah. You can work on this one, right? And the mm -hmm. next page talks about confidence intervals, okay? Mm -hmm. And I will do my best if you want. I will try to get you some more of the con This has, like, the answers here, right? Mm -hmm. This this note thing for Chapter 19. It has, like, you know, you just walk through it. And it's trivial. I know this. All right? But it, it really, I thought, was a good method of how to do it. Okay? Like, for example, it says examples, right, on the second to the last page to find out what N is. All right? That's not it. See the Z star there, or Z asterisk, upper right-hand corner? They said it, it changes because it was 90%, so they used 1.645. Okay, that, that multiplier always changed based upon what the confidence intervals. All right? All right? Not bad. And then uh, then they found out. Remember, you have to round up when you have n. All right? Now, you can get out, we can talk about this later on. So if you go to the back page for n, just the back, the last of the pages, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It says, hey, n, method one, method two. Look at on the left hand side just the answer, okay, for the 90% confidence interval. They got 751.67, right? Well, obviously, they've rounded up since the third grade. That's no big deal. Now, the next one is big. Okay? The re okay, you got 481.07. They rounded it up. What the front door is going on? Why? Uh, why would they round up? Go ahead, take it. Because you can only have a whole person, and if you've got that extra little bump, you've got to count for it. Yeah, he could be like in between, you know, you can argue on this, right? Now let's just think about it. Uh, he could be, uh, that he, he, she, it, whatever, or the defect or the part could be like, you know, sandwiched away from the population and the sample size. So to cover your rear end, you round up, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, you could argue that, well, I'm breaking it apart and taking it into my sample size, right? Or you can say, like, well, there's a evidence that there's another one in there, Emily would say. So she's a part of the statistician group, murmur round up. Yeah, you're right, okay? And if it's some good news, we want to round up. And if it's bad news, you know, we want to just, you know, see it, okay? Like, you know, uh, chances of a drug uh, increasing the chance, uh, uh, propensity of heart attacks or something like that, which a side effect. I was at a pharmaceutical t uh, com, uh, talk last night uh, for uh, uh, Zerolta as well as uh, Vi, it starts with a V, he'll come to me. And he put up some statistics though, and I was like eating and whatever, I was the plus one. I'm like the date now, you know, with an right? I'm just the date, okay? And all of a sudden, and then the statistics based upon, I just went, <laughs> I had, I, I, everything stopped, you know? Like food fell out of my mouth or statistics, really? And then they were doing a confidence interval. They were doing uh, N was too many things. They were like, and I went like, oh, this is wrong. <laughs> and of course, her eyes became like this, right? And that was the 